What's going on, everybody? Liam here, Jets Afterburners podcast. Coming live from my work car, which I don't really do often, but I figured I'm going for a little drive. Might as well just get a little video out. I w- I've been wanting to talk about the state of the Jets for a while now, and I feel like now is a good time to do it. Um, you know, just kind of going briefly over everything. And starting off with our hopes and our expectations this season, this off season, I have to say, hasn't translated to the product on the field. And it wasn't just us fans saying it. It was the Jets actually saying it. The players, the coaches, they were all saying that this is a Super Bowl-ready team. This is a, con- a, a contending team. And really, we haven't seen that. It's these weird problems that aren't getting fixed week in and week, uh, week out. And then you turn on WFAN today and uh, Tiki and Evan were saying, you know, Devontae Adams, is it too little too late? I, I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. It's just the offense isn't the biggest problem of this team for once. Has it been great? No. You think back to... Uh, Denver, you think back to the Minnesota Viking game. Yeah, the offense was a big problem. But last night, Aaron Rodgers played his best game as a New York Jet. Hands down. That Hail Mary was freaking awesome. You know, but of course, we have these stupid penalties. And then Greg DeLay missing six points in total, two field goals. If he makes those two field goals, if he, if he even makes one, that game most likely is going to overtime. And then who knows what happens? It, it'd be 23-23. Uh, if he makes both like he should have, 26-23 in the Jets' favor. The game is there for the win. The Jets would be in first place in the division. It's just these stupid things, these stupid penalties, you know, roughing the passer and holding and pass interference. Every penalty in the book, they gave up over 100 yard uh, in penalties yesterday. And I get it. The officiating has been god-awful. The Bills got some bad calls, too, that I didn't agree with. Aaron Rodgers publicly in his press conference said that he didn't agree with it. But it's it's just it is what it is right now. Like there's really no explanation for it. The penalties are going to be there. It is what it is. Maybe just try to limit them as best as possible. Be a clean ran organization. Be a clean team on the football field. And like I said, with Devontae Adams, it helps. But now our defense is kind of becoming concerning. The defense is the problem now. And it's not going to be every week. I mean, I'm not discounting our defense. We still have a good defense. But Quentin Williams has sucked. Kinlaw has been bad. Clemens, bad. DJ Reed has been outstanding, but Sauce has been pretty quiet. You know, he's he's given up that touchdown against Calvin Ridley. You can't knock a player and get upset at a, a corner for giving up a touchdown. It's going to happen. And overall, Sauce has been a good player. But the, it, the interceptions have to be there. You know, he gave up one... Uh, against the Vikings in the end zone that it's you could look back to certain plays that just they change the game it changes the outcome of the game you know I don't want to spend too much time talking about Salah but he did say something he said something that really stuck with me a couple years ago he said games aren't won in the league they're lost and that's true the games are lost in this league and the Jets have lost a lot of games whether it's Aaron Rodgers missing uh, receivers, whether it's receivers dropping the ball, Brees Hall not being able to get going. It's a litany of things with this New York Jets team. With that being said now, we have we still have a chance. It's not too little too late. The Steven, the, Steven, the season is still alive. Not by much. It, it really makes Pittsburgh a must win. On Sunday Night Football, another primetime game where the Jets are going to be uh, the vocal point. They're going to be exposed either for the good or for the bad of the team. Everybody's going to be watching it. Sunday Night Football, jets Steelers. it's an old-time rivalry. In Pittsburgh, a place where historically they haven't played well. Can they do it? Yes. I mean, whether it's Russell Wilson, it's looking like it's going to be Russell Wilson at quarterback. But if I were, I mean, now Chuck Clark is out. You know, he's on IR. Um, DJ Reed's dealing with a groin. We don't know how long, if any, if he's going to be missing time. Will McDonald's banged up. It's going to be a shootout. These games are really going to be shootout games in terms of we have a good offense now. 
and we, we're going to have to respond with touchdowns. Field goals, I do not trust Greg Zerline. And you're not going to change my mind. He's got to go out there and prove it. But I don't even want to see him on the field. The Jets should be trying out kickers, and they're not. They're not going to be. You're not getting a really good kicker in the middle of the season. You're just not. You're just not. So we need to convert. We need touchdowns. Pittsburgh, they, they go out, they score a touchdown. The Jets need to respond with a touchdown. And bringing Devontae Adams in, that's what that does. He's the only player that could hold Aaron Rodgers accountable. Aaron Rodgers throws a bad interception or a bad pass. Devontae Adams has the authority to go up and be like, what the hell is that? He's going to continue to develop Garrett Wilson. What you're getting from Devontae Adams is instant chemistry. You could see that Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson, they looked a lot better. Garrett Wilson played his best game of the season yesterday. But even with Lazard, like some of these... Some of these targets, you could just tell like they're not on the same page. Even with uh, Mike Williams, Aaron Rodgers blasted Mike Williams in his interview yesterday, in his uh, press conference yesterday. Rightfully so. I mean, but he slipped. Not everybody's always going to be perfect. But we had a chance, man. We had a chance. And one way or another, they blew another chance. They're two games out of first place in the division. And I took the train. I was at the game yesterday. So I'm on the train talking to a couple other Jet fans. And we all said this. And I'm so sick and tired. I'm so sick and tired of saying it. But it's true. Yesterday was the biggest game at MetLife in a very long time. And once again, the Jets blew it. I have been to so many primetime games. I think back to the games in 2022 where you needed to win one or two and you were in and they couldn't get it done. I was at that monsoon game against Jacksonville. If they won that game, they were most likely making the playoffs and they blew it. Now, the Jets, yes, they didn't look like they were unprepared. I mean, they played a very good game. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers played the best game of his career as the Jet. It still wasn't enough, though. One more touchdown would have sealed that game. And they couldn't get that done. But I'm, I'm not blaming this on Aaron Rodgers. I'm not even blaming it really on the offense. This one I'm blaming on Greg Zerline. But like I said, with that being said, there's still time. There's still hope. Do I feel defeated? Yes. I went to bed last night. You know, I was freezing at that game. It was cold. And I was just genuinely pissed, you know. I go, I got only a few hours of sleep, three hours of sleep. I think I got. And it's been a long day. But the Jets have now acquired Devonte Adams. So now there's a new sense of optimism. Is it going to change a whole lot? No. But you know what? It makes defensive coordinators struggle. It makes game planning against the Jets' offense that much harder. We have Garrett Wilson, who is our number one. We got Devontae Adams, who is a true veteran number one, who's had his best years with Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers, is he washed? He's not the same player he was in Green Bay, but his arm talent is still there. His mind is still sharp. That's enough. Aaron Rodgers is enough of a quarterback to get the job done. Am I saying Super Bowl? No. Not saying it's not possible, but let's not get crazy. You know, well, that's a video for a different day. Let's start stacking some wins. The, the The Jets' biggest task right now is getting back to 500. They got to find a way to get to 4-4. Four and four. And the easy part of the schedule is coming up. I don't buy that. Nothing is easy for these Jets. They should have wiped the floor with the Denver Broncos. They struggled, especially in the first half against the Titans. Nothing is easy for the Jets. But they're in every game. Outside of that San Francisco week one game, they're in every game. It's been a one-score loss in each of the games. But you trade for Aaron Rodgers to get you that touchdown when you most desperately need it. Aaron Rodgers is that clutch play quarterback that we've been dying for. That we never had. We didn't have it with Zach. We didn't have it with Sam. We didn't have it, you know, I don't have to, I don't, I'm not going down the whole list, but you guys get the idea. And Aaron Rodgers is capable of it. And we saw it last night with that Hail Mary. Now, I don't want to put the fate of the game in Hail Marys every week. But, because it's risky. But Aaron Rodgers, he can still throw a 64-yard. He said on McAfee today, 
he he could he believes and I I believe it too that he could really throw a 70 yard ball still and he can I so desperately believe he can and bringing Devontae Adams here I think things will get better I really do just because the offense is going to be better we're going to be able to score more points hopefully more touchdowns where Greg doesn't have to kick all these field goals you know just can you handle some extra points but with that being said we have a chance guys do I have all the optimism in the world no do I still have my concerns yes do I have a lot of faith no. But until we are mathematically out of it, we have a chance. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back Thursday night live for the podcast. Just so many different topics to cover. If you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you guys very much. Uh, we had two other podcasts out today. Um, we had an exclusive with Gary V this morning. That was really big, something I'm really proud of. Even though... Uh, it was a negative podcast. It was nothing that we were all looking forward to talking about, obviously, before the Devontae Adams trade rumor. And then Dan and uh, Jay Jetsax did a uh, a Devontae Adams recap video of just, you know, him being a Jet. So definitely go check those out on the page. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk Jets soon.